Here are the announcements for the week of November 8. This last week, Don Prince passed on Tuesday, November 3rd. He was a longtime Trinity Church member and leader. And I would like to invite you to have a moment of silence as I ring the bell three times. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, our creator and redeemer, you have given us our brother Don to know and to love in our pilgrimage on earth. Uphold us now as we entrust him to your boundless love and eternal care. Assure us that not even death can separate us from your infinite mercy. Deal graciously with us who mourn, that we may truly know your sure consolation and learn to live in confident hope of the resurrection through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Don was a constant supporter of Trinity Church, and he was always active in our annual stewardship campaign. This year, the theme is for such a time as this, as we recall how God prepared Esther to save her people from great danger. We know that God is preparing us to be instruments of grace in the world, even as we go through this extremely challenging time in our lives and in our world. We have a couple of opportunities coming up for participating in the stewardship campaign. One is a, an online Zoom dessert gathering tonight, uh, November 8 at 7 p.m. Just use the, uh, the link in the Sunday morning e-news email uh, in order to access that uh, Zoom gathering with Hannah Carden. Uh, she'll be offering an inspirational talk and there'll be an opportunity for uh, Trinity members to have fellowship and conversation as well. The next Sunday is Consecration Sunday, November 15. We've been working hard to get ready to present this worship service as a live streaming worship service so that whether you're here in person in the sanctuary or at home or somewhere else watching online, we can all be worshiping God at the same time. Um, we're grateful for the opportunity that we have to worship together, and we give thanks to God for all the blessings in our lives. During the stewardship campaign, we've been hearing from various members of Trinity Church, and at this time, I'd like to invite you to listen to Amy Reimer, Hi, I'm Amy Reimer. I'm the financial secretary here at Trinity Church, and I'm also a member. I've been a member for 27 years. And you may notice that we have some inserts in our online bulletin today. And one is a graph or a chart of weekly income. And I'd ask that you take the time to look at this chart, find yourself in the left-hand column, in terms of what your weekly income is, and then study the columns across the top to see where you're currently giving, what percentage you're giving, and where you think you might be able to increase. And just take some time in prayer and see what God is calling you to give. And then we have a second chart that looks like a stepladder, and it says, will you grow one step this year? And there are some number, numbers already filled in on this chart. Now we have 131 giving units this year. And if you look at the bottom step, 35 of those giving units gave between one cent and $4.99 a week. 
And as we move up the ladder, 11 units gave $30 to $39.99 a week. And when you get to the top of the ladder, we have seven units that were giving $200 or more a week. Now, I don't know where you are on this ladder, but again, I ask you to take some time to pray and think about what you might be able to do to take a step up. As I was thinking about my giving, I realized I've been giving to two campaigns for the past three years. And one was the operating pledge and one was the capital campaign. The capital campaign will be ending this year, but I realized I can divert that money to the operating budget without any cost to myself or any impact on what I've been doing in the past. And if I were to add just $5, I would end up moving up two steps. And I just think in this pandemic with all that's going on and as scary as it is, and as much as we're having to give up, there are a lot of creative ways that we can figure out how to increase our giving for Trinity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amy. We have a bonus today, and I'd like to invite you to hear what John Rittner has to say. Hello, I'm John Rittner, and my family has been a member of Trinity for about 10 years. I'd like to talk today about what Trinity has meant for me and why we give to Trinity. One of the things that first attracted us to Trinity was the many ways that it's involved in service, both in the local community and beyond. To quote John Wesley, I believe that we as Christians are called to do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as you ever can. Community service is something that I wanted to be involved with and I also wanted my boys, my two boys, to grow up with it. Trinity has given us many opportunities to put Wesley's words into action. When my kids were younger, we were able to assist with sorting food donations for the Wilmet Food Pantry and serving meals at a Just Harvest community kitchen. While they were in confirmation, they participated in several mission trips, including one to Costa Rica. For a week, we helped the local mission staff build a playground for kids in a poor area and apartments for young single mothers who had nowhere else to go. We also helped with the after-school program at the mission and even got to play a couple of soccer games with the locals. It was an unforgettable experience and one that my kids would not have had without Trinity. Something we look forward to helping with every fall, except this year, unfortunately, is the pumpkin patch. What's great about the pumpkin patch is that people really enjoy helping and contributing to it. When the trucks full of pumpkins need to be unloaded, not only do Trinity members turn out to help, but students from Northwestern, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, even local members of the community show up to help. While working at the patch, it's fun to watch families taking pictures and kids searching for that perfect pumpkin to take home. When it comes time to pay, I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, just round it up to the nearest 10, or even more, because they're glad to support the good causes that Patch supports. Another way my family has been blessed by Trinity is Boy Scout Troop 3, which is supported by the troop, by the church. Scouting has been tremendously important in my son's development into young men. It has given them opportunities to learn new things and develop new skills. It has given them the chance to go on high adventure trips and to develop strong bonds with their peers. It's also helped shape their value system, teaching them to live by the Scout Oath and Laws. Finally, it's provided even more opportunities for service, many of which overlap with what the church does. Trinity's support of Troop 3 has been incredibly important not only for my family, but for the 50 plus scouts in the troop. So why do I contribute to Trinity? One of the reasons is the many opportunities to, to fulfill Wesley's call to help others. This has been very important for me and my family, and I want to make sure that we can continue, 
continue this work and that this, these opportunities are available for families in the future. Thank you, John. We want to make it easy for people to give to Trinity Church. Uh, we have the ability to receive mail, donations through mail. There are opportunities to give online through our church website, trinitywillmet.com slash give. And there's even the, um, the, the op opportunity to give through your bank's uh, bill pay system, where your bank can send the church a check from your, uh, from your account. Uh, on your behalf. We're so grateful for all the ways that uh, you are helping to support and sustain Trinity Church in this time of pandemic and uncertainty. We give thanks for the faith of our congregation as we are called to love God and serve our neighbors. As we give ourselves to continuing and supporting and upholding the mission and ministry of Trinity Church, will you pray with me? O oh God of all grace, we thank you for all you have given. With praise and thanksgiving, we present our tithes and offerings to you from the abundance you have shared with us. Make us mindful of the needs of others as we dedicate ourselves and our gifts to your service and your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God Almighty, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us always. Amen.